Welcome Virgos, I'm back again with another video for you guys for the month of October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. October, baby. This is going to be a love and relationship read. All right, so let's see what messages we have for my Virgos. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have Virgo anywhere in those placements, you can utilize this video. All right, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe, guys, and hit the like button, guys, to make sure that this uh, video is getting circulated, guys. All right, so let's see what we have for my Virgos. Virgo Nation. All right, Virgos for October. What message is there for my Virgos? What message is there for Virgos? What message do you have for Virgos? All right. First card jumped out is the Emperor. Page of Cups, <laughs> the Temperance, the Lovers, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Two tens here. So there could definitely be like um, a completion or wrapping up a cycle here. I see that as well. We got the Chariot. The Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups here. Okay, so I'm getting like a new fresh start in a connection here, a bond, or a business relationship. I'm seeing that as well. We got the emperor here. So you're feeling pretty bossed up here. You're feeling pretty bossed up. You could be um, dealing with someone older or you could be dealing with an Aries or there is a father figure or some, you know, just someone older in the picture. Yeah. See, some of you have started a business here. I got the three of pentacles here or someone, some, some of you guys may be dealing with the boss at work. Okay. But this is a love reading. But I'm just going to read what comes out and what I see. But I'm definitely getting like very bossed up energy. Okay. Why is the page of pentacles? Page of cups here. Page of cups is communication. Yeah. Page of wands. Lots of communication. Okay. We got the moon in the page of swords. You're spying on someone here. You're doing a lot of spying. Okay. Are you watching someone's business? Um. But you're definitely, I definitely see you guys spying here with the moon and the page of swords. Definitely spying. Someone's doing like work. Someone's putting in a lot of work. A lot of work. The eight of pentacles and the ten of ten of wands. It's real, it's a lot of work. Like, I feel like you guys are either watching someone build or you're building and looking at you know, seeing if you have what it takes to uh build and work up something. Okay. Like, if someone here is doing a lot, it could be you, it could be someone you're close to, but someone here is doing a lot, okay? It's a lot going on. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Star card could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like you want to communicate with this person. Maybe you want to go into business with this person. Maybe you want this person to be your business partner. Why is Temperance here? Nine of Swords, okay? Some of you may smoke a lot. Some of you guys may smoke. I got the Temperance and the Nine of Swords. That's definitely trying to ease that mind, okay? <laughs> I'm getting like some of you um, are possibly going into the CBD energy, like, you know, trying to do some work there, um, edibles or something to that nature, um, but I'm definitely hearing, I'm definitely hearing and seeing that. Okay. Um, why is the lovers here? The ace of swords. You're spying on somebody. Could be a Gemini, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but definitely like a Gemini or I got Sagittarius here and I got Aries here. Aquarius for sure. I got cherry. I got cancer here too. But you're watching somebody. 
Yeah, see, here you go. The hermit, you're definitely, you're watching somebody, okay? You're spying on somebody to see, like, are you liking their, their items or their business? You have some ideas. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Eight of Cups. Pisces is energy. Um, you're trying to keep up. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles is simply trying to keep up. Okay, simply trying to keep up. Um, I feel like a partnership possibly fell apart. And I feel like it was a business partnership. The Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles and the Tower. Um, maybe you lost a business partner. Um, but I can definitely see like you're watching somebody, you're trying to make sure that you're keeping what you have up to par, like you're trying to keep up. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in the past? Eight of Wands wanted to jump out. Okay, see, so yeah. See, the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, you could be discussing finances and business. Um, this could be family oriented. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Knight of Wands, yeah. Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's like somebody's regretting a decision. Um, there was a fallout, okay? Someone started an argument. The Fool and the Five of Wands. Someone started a, a argument, um... And things kind of got carried away. It's, it was just a lot of confusion. I feel like you're kind of like crying over spilled milk in the past energy with this five of cups here. And it's three of cups because you and this person was really close. Um, this could be a family member with that ten of pentacles, the eight of wands. Like, you know, you and this person possibly talk a lot. Um, and, you know, I just feel like you're kind of like on the outside looking in now. Um... I'm kind of getting like you sitting on your phone, you chilling out. Not everyone smokes, but I'm getting like some of you might be smoking or, you know, taking, you know, smoking a cigarette or whatever, whatever keeps you calm. But something here with the temperance and the nine of swords energy is definitely like really something like easing your anxiety. Okay. Um. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the two and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Two of Pentacles keep coming up. Um, I feel like with that Ten of Swords there, they're saying that something has completely come to an end, a complete halt. Um, and especially here with the Death card here. I'm getting a big no. Two of Swords. It's like you you ask for something, um, and this person says no. Um, why is the two of pentacles here? Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Seven of Swords. Six of Cups. Um, I'm getting like taking something back. But I'm I'm also I'm really seeing that there is an ending here. Like if there was you're deciding to end something or um, the Two of Pentacles is like indecision, but with that Ten of Swords, I'm getting like you're cutting someone off. You're completely cutting someone off or someone completely cut you off. Um, the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Swords. The Queen of Wands is very action oriented. She's very much so go getterish. Now with that Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups, I'm getting like um, some sneaky type energy. But someone definitely got cut off with this Queen of Swords. I'm definitely getting like someone decided to end something. Why is the two of pentacles here? Yeah. You possibly have ended up cutting this person off. And now you're making new connections and new friends to work with. Yeah. The eight of pentacles and the ace of cups. I'm sorry. The, ace, the eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. For some of you, this is new clients. For some of you, this is new business partnerships. Uh, but I'm getting definitely like this is possibly like... Someone that you care about, you possibly did business together, it didn't work, so now, you know, you're kind of like on the outside looking in, and you're making new connections and new friends, and you're trying to move forward to build what you can build, okay? Because I do see you progressing here and moving forward with this chariot card here. 
yeah despite the odds chariot and the devil card okay despite the odds you're definitely moving forward yeah king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles yeah and the eight of pentacles yeah you're definitely going to continue to move forward like you're not going to let this situation get you down you're going to continue to progress and move forward now how this person is viewing you is the five of pentacles Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But they're waiting to see. They're waiting to waiting to see things out. Um, they may view you as, um, uh, like the Five of Pentacles is rejection. Um, that's kind of like when you're kind of like at a low point in life where you're trying to, you know, make it day to day. Okay, so they're waiting for you to come out of that. Um, and think clearly and think straight with the King of Swords. King of Swords energy is definitely someone that's smart, someone who's logical, someone who makes decisions based off of, yeah. See, they're, they're concerned about your mental and your, your, um, your decision making. The Two of Swords and the King of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you don't want to discuss. I feel like. There hasn't been any communication really between you and this person or you and these people. But I'm getting like you're feeling like this about a specific person. The Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, because something didn't work out. The Death Card and the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. You guys weren't able to build together. So you, you're possibly split in ways. Um, however, I do feel like you're still keeping an eye on this person. But you're just not saying anything. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah. Because we got the Five of Cups. You feel bad about what happened. See, we got the Five of Wands and the Knight of Swords. That's a lot of recklessness energy. Something could have possibly happened where there was an argument or there was a lot going on with the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Definitely a lot going on. You may be looking back at that situation like, you know, it, it is what it is. It happened the way it happened. I want to continue to move forward. Um, you know, I'm just going to continue to move forward. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Well, goodness. <laughs> Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yes. Okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune and the A, I'm sorry, and the Sun card. Okay, so this is going to be the best decision for you. You're going to feel more brighter and more positive. Okay. It's going to work out in your favor, okay? Whatever this is that you're trying to do, it is going to balance out, okay? Some of you are thinking about karma from the past. Um, I feel like... I feel like you wanted to give someone space. We got the Six of Pentacles. See, look at you. I'm telling you, you're spying on somebody. You're either watching somebody be great or... Or you guys, I'm, I'm getting like an inspired, inspired energy. Maybe you're inspired by this person. I'm getting that. But yeah, see, you're gonna keep, you're gonna keep pushing. Either you're inspired that this person continues to push, and this is motivating to you. I'm hearing that as well with the Four of Pentacles. This person is still holding on and putting forth all this work and effort and trying to get this pentacle. Okay, they're taking every opportunity. It is the tank to take necessary steps forward. This could be very inspirational for you and you're following in the footsteps, okay? Because I do feel like you guys are watching somebody so heavily. Why is the Page of Swords here? King of Wands could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but you, you really, really are really motivated, okay? King of Wands energy is very motivated very goal getterish okay <laughs> definitely see look you got goals six of six of pentacles and the two of wands you got goals okay i got goals <laughs> y'all got goals okay you got goals your intuition was telling you that this person may have needed their space with the eight of swords okay very tight this is a very tight situation your intuition was telling you that, okay? So I feel like you decided to give this person space, but you, you know, you, you, you watching. Because I feel like with the Four of Swords, you may have been, you know, gotten comfortable or, you know, you just was tired of all of this, 
okay? Five of Swords. You're entitled to all of that, okay? Somebody's very strong-minded, um, and they have certain type of boundaries and rules, okay? For some of you, this is for someone's home or their business or how they do things. This could even be a marriage. Somebody here is very stern in their ways. They have boundaries set up. They like things to go in a certain way, okay? This is what makes them happy, all right? But this person, I feel like... I, I'm getting like you admire this person, you look up to this person, and this person is very inspirational to you. But I feel like something just did not work out, um, and I feel like it was a business partnership or something, or you know, uh, lovers turn business partners. And I feel like you may have cut, you know, you know how to separate, you know, the relationship from business. Okay. Um, so let's see what advice we have for you. Right. What advice is there for Virgos? We got Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seed in the light, laying foundations, divine plans. See, like I said, I feel like you guys got goals. Y'all got some goals that y'all are trying to accomplish, and you are really, you know, laying out your foundations. You're laying them out. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Yeah, see, align your life. You're been, you've been working on aligning yourself, you know, to get the things that you desire. So you're trying to manifest here, and I, I can clearly see that. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So you're birthing these new ideas, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're feeling bossed up, okay? So a lot of you guys are, you know, during this pandemic, that woke a lot of people up. Like, hey, I got to have my own business. I got to have a side hustle. I got to have something else going on other than going to this 9 to 5. Okay, give me one more card, please. Oh, no, that's just too many. Like, five cards came out. Give me one more card for Virgos. Okay, we got Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? Okay, so it's time for definitely for you to, you know, some of you may need to get in connection with, um, I'm getting like very feminine energy. Like for some of you, it's a mother, a grandmother, an aunt, a sister, um, but also about self-love. Like take care of yourself, love yourself, um, speak your affirmations over yourself, speak life into yourself, okay? Because I see you guys got some type of goal, some type of plan that you're trying to manifest here. And I really do feel like I see that you guys got the drive and you're trying to press forward. So definitely make sure that you're loving yourself. You're not over overdoing anything. Um, taking care of you, self-love, okay? All right, Virgos. I hope that was helpful for you guys. And I will talk to you on the next go-round. Ciao.